The next fence is the length of time fence. How long do we want our children and teenagers on technology? So it's not just the content, it's just not the time of day, but it's actually how long. And we want to consider that in just sheer volume because technology is not bad. Actually, there's some research that supports that 45 minutes or less of video games actually has some positive effects on different aspects of the development of our children. So it's not that we eliminate it, we just want them to determine what's the best amount of time for it. And it's less time when they're younger and it gets a little bit more as they get older, but you still want to be aware of it because we want them, it's not just about being safe and how much they consume, but it's teaching healthy habits so that technology doesn't take up space that would be better used by other activities in life. So it's not just what you experience, it's also what you're missing out on. And if you can have a safety fence there about time on technology and how much, you leave space for the other great things of life that we can experience.